Welcome to Roundtable. My name is Pankaj Chopadhyay. Um, it gives me immense joy to, you know, talk about uh, subjects that are very close to my heart. You know, just like they will say, books, music, and films. This is my world. Um, also, uh, best wishes to everybody celebrating Holi uh, happening on 8th of March, uh, 2023, and also it is International Women's Day uh, on 8th of March, 2023. Okay so that brings me to the next uh, you know important uh, subject tonight uh, we are going to be talking about a debut novel the peripheral written by a woman uh, meena mahanti kumar and uh, it gives me immense joy to you know interact with her tonight uh, via this round table and also you know learn more about her more about her motivations to write this novel the peripheral and also what are the next steps Meena ji came to Sydney Australia in 1999 so she has been living here for some time and uh, the debut novel the peripheral that uh, she has written she has penned is actually inspired by a true event uh, a true experience of hers so without further ado let's uh, dive into this round table and learn more about from Meena ji thank you very much pankaj it's such a pleasure interacting with you and uh, thank you for having me and yes a very very happy holi and uh, international women's day to all our listeners and watchers thank you thank you meena ji okay so we don't beat behind the bush in round table okay so we come direct to the agenda tell us about your early life sure. early life i actually i was born and brought up in a place called jamshedpur uh, which is now in jharkhand in india uh, so till year 10 i Uh, studied in sacred heart convent school followed by uh, um i did my botany honors in uh, raurkela in orissa and then i uh, did my um, human resource management and mba from xlri jamshedpur after which i moved to delhi to work in bharat electronics limited and for um several years i worked in that company before moving to australia in 1999 so that's my early life wow and, so and uh sorry yes. i interrupted you there so you know you took some very very respected names from india uh, anybody you know studying those subjects and especially the mention of xlri jamshedpur uh, gets me excited Tell us more about your experience when you were studying at Excel Right in Shibpur. Oh, it was a really, uh, it was a wonderful experience. Um, uh, we, as even uh, the alumni, so far, I'm very well connected with my classmates even now, and even my seniors and my juniors. It was a very nurturing environment. We, I think, I really grew as a person uh, while studying there. Apart from really learning about HR and all of that. but uh, to me that personal growth uh, in that environment i think even as compared to the iims we always think of it as being the best uh, you know institution there is especially for hr so i really love that and even now i think back to that time as helping me to grow as a human being what was your time like at excel right and did it also you know act as a catalyst for your interest in pursuing dramatics uh, performing arts and eventually writing uh, my uh, apart from learning uh, by the way i was terrible in finance and terrible in quantitative techniques i don't know how i got through those subjects somehow and <laughs> but uh, uh, yes you know you learn a lot from your teachers i had a very interesting professor called father ruyo who more than the subjects he taught which was behavior organizational behavior and uh, we had a subject called group dynamics we where we learned to interact uh, with people and uh, it was a very interesting experience but as far as i did participate we used to have these entry in entertainment evenings and all in music and all of that but my interest in um, music uh, theater goes back um, much longer much before that i even you know uh, went to xlr or even uh, to college okay beautiful so tell us about your interest and hobbies meena ji back then so really i think actually i think my life has come a full circle 
I pretty much do almost exactly the same things that I did um, back then. So, uh, as far as music goes, I started learning music, uh, classical, Hindustani classical at a very young age, but uh, on and off because I had, when I moved to Raurkila, it was discontinued, then I picked it up again and even in Australia. And you know, I was learning from Abhijit Sarkar as well. Um, and then uh, from the age of 12, I was directing, organizing plays, kits, uh, all of that. We used to actually even sell 50 paisa tickets to uh, people to come and watch us. <laughs> and uh, I used to make them on Mars uh, sewing machine. But uh, and I also learned um, Kathak dance for some time. But uh, my love for writing was always paramount. I always wrote. I wrote limericks and poetry, short stories. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the only thing is now I'm a wife and mother as well. And I don't climb trees anymore. <laughs> and um, yeah, and uh, gardening and yeah, fur furniture ups like upcycling are new interests, which I didn't have then. Right. Okay. And how has the local culture of Orissa, uh, you know, influenced you in any which way? Do you want to, you know, talk about that area? Actually, uh, Pankaj, I never lived in Orissa. I always lived in Jamshedpur. I was born there. That was earlier when I was born. It was in Bihar. Subsequently, it became a part of Jharkhand. So I'm a very, very much a Jamshedpurian. We, we still call it Jampot. Um, and uh, uh, yeah. And it's a very uh, cosmopolitan place in terms of not only, you know, people from different states coming to work in Tisco and even in the hospitals, but also religion wise. We have a huge population of Hindus, Muslims, Christians, as well as Parsis. So, yeah, so that culture really is, I think, uh, one of the unique cultures about of Jamshedpur. And I felt uh, very fortunate to grow up in a place like that. Yeah, yeah very fond memories of Jamshedpur too. Uh, I grew up in Calcutta, uh, as you're aware, and my father worked uh, uh, for the Tatas. So that was our Tata connection. And uh, um, though uh, we were living in Calcutta, uh, my ancestral town is uh, in Varanasi. So we used to do these road trips, you know, occasionally. Uh, and en route, uh, you know, via Bihar, via Jharkhand, oftentimes. And Jamshedpur also used to be one of, you know, the one of the bucket stops for us. We move on to the next segment, uh, Meenaji. Before we touch yeah. upon your book, The Peripheral, tell us uh, how, what experience of yours has influenced that chapter in your life? Um. Very good question. So this is, uh, uh, the story goes back really um, about 29 years ago when my son was born. So he was uh, born and immediately he had pneumonia, septicemia and all that. Very sick child in an incubator for two weeks after which we went home. And I was very stressed. First child, all these problems and uh, barely had a day or two gone when you know this group of hijras now called kinners came home and they started singing dance dancing demanding money you know how it is um off key melodies and all of that and then uh, so all this haggling went on and i was not a very patient person those at that time my son was crying inside and i was like uh, then when they kept on and on, you know, they threatened to disrobe. Then I said, yeah, I don't have, believe in all this. My son is sick. I don't, uh, if you, I don't have any more to give you. Lena lo. Or us, us, and in anger, I said, why don't you guys work? Why don't you people work? Why don't you work like this? So, behind there was one thin kinner. She came forward and she said, 
in perfect you know what we call convent english a uh, good accent and said i know i understand uh, to the effect i understand where you're coming from but just think about us aajkal you know there are not more than one or two kids everyone has um so uh, other than prostitution what uh, what avenues do we have and you are ta- talking about jobs who will give us jobs and you know by some stroke of luck uh, you know uh, unlikely event that we get a job how are, is our existence going to be amongst our colleagues and all that so i was just shocked punk such and more than shock i was saddened but the biggest emotion i felt was shame i was ashamed at myself i was ashamed for all of us as a society ki obviously this person comes from a good family background to go to a convent school you have to be more than up, upper middle, middle class or over, above right, right. and um, uh, it's obvious she do- doesn't have any family support and that is why she such a person who's so educated still has to do this why so that stayed with me for a long time you know we didn't have computers back then in 90s and all at home so when we moved to australia in 99 i brought my bits and pieces mere notes and um, notebooks and all of that i started then doing research but i never thought it's going to be a part of a book or a novel it just happened somewhere around 2010 11 when i was going through and in recovering from a long illness suddenly this character became part of about 45000 words worth of a story and that was my inspiration initially later uh my one of my sister said this looks like a novel you should publish and then i got bogged down by that whole thing novel kya hota hai oh my god 60000 70000 words it became about words and i wanted my book to be written organically to speak to the reader not you know some words and can't write like that it has to come from within you in the meantime my personal experiences as a first generation immigrant also came into play and all of a sudden there were these two characters a child migrant growing up in australia and this person and how they connect so that's my story thank you for sharing uh, sharing about uh, you know the inspiration behind your novel mina ji uh, the peripheral also from my own personal experiences i think uh, the books or music or films for that matter uh comes out most truthfully when you know when the creator has uh, in person experienced uh, the situation so i congratulate you firstly for uh, doing the right thing by following your heart and also by letting not uh, you know the the other aspects of uh, writing a novel or a book uh, influence you in 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 a wrong way rather you followed your heart and you made it an organic process i think that is how one should do so well done there absolutely and also i think Thank as an immigrant uh, uh that came so many years back to australia uh, i'm sure the readers will find several you know sub stories that they may connect with it if they were first time immigrants as well back in the day and i'm sure even uh, for relatively newer ones i think it's a good uh, good platform so thank you that's right thank you uh, pankaj with that uh, last um, what you said just now about influence do you know that for the last 11 years i haven't read a single book and i am a voracious reader i've missed so many uh, train stops while reading Uh, but because i thought somewhere you know it might influence me someone else is writing i didn't want that and now i'm like you know how, how after hunger strike you can't uh, eat or drink immediately i'm just like scared to even pick up a book and read and i don't know which book to read right now so it it's like that 
Oh, I can recommend you several books on uh, filmmaking that you Please must read. <laughs> that <laughs> you will not oh, find them interesting enough. I will leave that to <laughs> sure. Thank you, Meena ji. Okay, so um, I think your uh, your education in human resource also has a bearing on the way your thought process uh, works. And I'm sure that will also be reflective in your novel because essentially you're a people person, right? And that is why that person remained with you. Am I, that, am I thinking in the right direction? Absolutely. Absolutely. My background in uh, HR and especially my, my electives in, uh, I specialized in interpersonal relations. Um, so one of my electives was uh, organizational behavior, um, you know, interpersonal relationship and in both the dyad and triad and group relations, uh, all of that. And somewhere that has helped me, I feel, in observing people uh, in kind of, I'm very curious about the way people behave. Why do they behave in certain ways, good, bad? And it's like, you know, wanting to crawl under their skin and walk around and try to find out what makes them tick. So that, yes, you're right. My background in HR has a huge role to play. Okay. So how many years in the process of writing this novel, uh, Meenachi? And tell us about the challenges you faced. It's been really more than 10 years. So initially, as I mentioned about, I wrote somewhere around 40, 45,000. They just flowed. And this was, you know, I've published two short stories, a couple of poems um, and um, a limerick even. But uh, this was my always my dream that one day I hope I can write a book, or publish a book, a novel. But then it's not, uh, it's a journey. So um, when I started off, it was this second protagonist, which was the kinner, based on a kinner. But... Uh, with the experience, then of course there was this block for some time. So I spent that time in researching uh, their lives. And in those years, uh, a lot of uh, development or in, had happened in their status. I don't know if development is the right word. So in the meantime, you know, they got Aadhaar card, which is an identity card, even though they even now say that Aadhaar card to mil gaya, lekin identity abhi tak nahi. And they, you know, things like the right to adopt and all some good things and uh, all of that. And then as a migrant, I grew. So those bits came in. But a lot of research has gone into it. I've gone through, I don't know how many studies from UNDP, newspaper articles, a lot of YouTube interviews with kinners and um, uh, things like that to be able to get my facts right and to get the feel and then especially what people have gone through. I just met this one kinner and I don't know what her life was. But that curiosity has driven me to find out. And so that's been the journey. It's taken uh, research, it's uh, writing and sometimes I would just leave it and um, go through several blogs telling me to you know, be disciplined, sit in front of the laptop. Uh, and even if you write one line, that's fine. But I'm a very spontaneous kind of person. And I think any writer is, you know, you just can't write unless it comes to you. So that's why it has taken me so many years. And after that, this whole thing of writing to uh, sending book proposals to publishers, literary agents, getting rejected, getting yes, but, and finally seeing the light of day. But yes, it's been a long journey. Right, Meenachi. During your research, did you find anything has changed uh, over these 20, 30 years? Yes, there has. So from, uh, as I mentioned, they have got the right to, um, they, ha they have been recognized as a third gender. Then they uh, have received the Aadhaar card. The several uh, NGOs have happened also, especially in the south and some uh, in the north as well. And uh, a lot of problems like, especially things like HIV, AIDS, suicides are being taken up by 
uh, these NGOs. And the right to adopt is fairly recent. So, yes. I, I wouldn't be able to say anything of uh, maybe in the last one or two years really. But this is what has happened. And uh, yes. So, I really uh, hope that this thing, movement, momentum continues and they find a normal place in society. Thank you, Meena Ji. Thank you for uh, sharing uh, a vital piece of information about your novel, The Peripheral. Uh, its subject, its inspiration, motivation and the challenges that you've faced. Uh, that leads me to another segment. For a first-time novelist, what's your uh, you know tips and hacks for somebody who wishes to start writing? I... Um... I don't know whether I'm I, I'm the right an expert in that, but when you're writing, I would say uh, pen down your thoughts every time. Uh, you know, when you feel like when you feel that there's a thought coming, it's very important to write it down wherever you are. So I've always written um, on the back of envelopes, uh, nap paper napkins when I haven't got anything else. Of course, now I have iPads and my phone notes and all that. I do that even now. But to me, you know, writing with a pen is the best thing, even though it takes longer. I don't know why. So I'm that generation. <laughs> so, yes, but I, I feel that one should uh, write when the, not, I won't say mood, when the thoughts flow. That's very important. And uh, yeah, and keep at it. You know, uh, it's taken me 10, 11 years. It's very easy to give up and think, oh, no, I can't do it. But you should have that belief in yourself and go with your gut feeling. Thank you, Meenaji. Okay, so I'll move on to the last two segments of this video. Uh, starting with a few questions. Uh, rapid fire. Are you okay? Okay. Yep. Okay. You'll have to answer them either in one word or a few words and as okay. truthfully as possible. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, Meenaji, what's your favorite color? Red. Okay. What's your favorite drink? Margarita. Beautiful. Food? Food, uh, Thai. Okay. Mm, yes. Right. Absolutely Thai. Favorite season or month? Spring. Okay. Kind of music you listen predictable. to? I listen to honest answer. Listen to every kind of music, anything that sounds good to my ear. Western, uh, Indian. I love guzzles. Old old movie songs more than the new ones, but there are some I like in the new. Um, yeah. Okay. Newspaper okay? or books? Books. Okay. India or Australia? No, you don't have to answer that. Okay. <laughs> that was me oh. just being cheeky. <laughs> but the slight uh, thing will always be skewed towards India. Okay. Beautiful. That, that's a true Indian Australian, I think. Okay. Uh, favorite film or the kind of films that inspire you? Films that have heart. Um, also, films which have uh, some legal. A story in it, you know, something and also um, thrillers. I like uh, Ayushman Kurana, Akshay Kumar movies, the recent one especially. Then, um, yeah, it's a very hard uh, question. Shawshank Redemption, A Time to Kill. Yeah. Okay. What did you like in Shawshank Redemption? It's just the story and the end, which, you know, the good guy wins. <laughs> you know, I'm always, I'm a romantic, yeah. and, uh, incurable romantic. So, yes, that's important. And I, I love some of the movies like Andhi and uh, yeah, those are my all time favorites. Right. Mm. I, I would like to you know share a trivia here regarding Shawshank Redemption. Uh, that's, that's a film which is one of the most, one of the highly rated films on IMDb. Uh, especially on friendship. Okay. 
but uh, you know i had not watched this film until many years uh, and also this is not a film that is usually shown to students of uh, films or film making for that matter so i watched a lot of academy award agreed films i watched a lot of other uh, films that uh, were festival uh, favorites and also you know considered to be all time classics however i had not i had never you know gotten this opportunity to watch this film and also the tag line of this film you know especially friendship between two convicts was not exciting to me until i actually watched uh, the film and experienced experienced the joy of uh, good cinema good storytelling and especially uh, the lead actors uh, you know performances okay uh, that was me uh, i got carried away with uh, uh, with aspects of filmmaking all right so last uh, segment uh, meena ji we we come to the final segment of this video uh, this podcast any call to action or any message for our listeners and uh, viewers so thank you first of all pankaj for having me here uh, what i would like for my readers uh, of the peripheral is to take away a message uh, and uh, while i of course want them to be entertained i would love for them to uh, i love i would love the story to touch lives and hopefully make a difference beautiful thank you meena ji thank you so much for uh, coming to round table yeah this is uh, pankaj uh, uh, thank you for staying with us uh, with this podcast with this video Meena Mahanti Kumar, uh, a debut novelist, she has written this novel, The Peripheral, uh, from her own, inspired from her own personal experiences, true, true events, and also she's a first-time novelist uh, who has spent this uh, novel over a period of ten years, touching some very important uh, subjects otherwise neglected uh, for whatever reasons. Uh, I'm glad to learn that there are things changing for the positive. Uh, and also there is a wind of change that is uh, embracing uh, and making the world a beautiful place it's international women's day on 8th march 2023 we are celebrating equity we are celebrating equality of gender so let's let's you know in that same in that same theme in that same mood uh, embrace all all you know all the differences and make it one Uh, Meena ji, just before we wrap up this video, would you tell us where we can find this novel? Yes, Pankaj, the book has been uh, uploaded on Amazon Australia recently, and so of course, al- already available on Amazon India and from the publishers. It's uh, pretty much available now in most countries, including Europe, Canada, US, and um, yes, so. Thank you Meena ji once That's again uh, for uh, joining this round table sharing your uh, early life inspiration motivation also uh, sharing your challenges as a first time novelist giving us tips hacks on how to become better writers and uh, yeah i wish you the very best with your no- with your novel and uh, all the other novels that are yet to come thank you thank you for your time Thank you very much Pankaj really enjoyed this Thank you for listening to this podcast and also watching this video uh, this is uh, Pankaj signing off for all the people thank you